I came up with the word umpteenth. Look, I'm out of my fucking mind. I'm open about that. But let me ask you this, have you seen a word like umpteenth since? It's like if J.K. Rowling stopped writing the Harry Potter books after the first one, you'd notice if the next one was called, like, Harry Potter Steals a Camry. Hey, where's, where's the whimsy? That's how I feel about word ever since I got, I got the axe from the word factory. Here's how it started. A hula hoop buddy of mine uh, told me that a new job was opening up at the word factory, said I'd be good for it. I'd been playing around with the word umpteenth already in my own head in the Teletubbies writer's room. I was a volunteer in there, but too many fist fights for my liking in that job environment. So I needed a change of pace, applied for the job, got it. Uh, went in, a lot of uh, prissy types working there. You know, buttoned up. At this time, you know, this is uh, late 70s, maybe early 90s. But the important thing to know around this time is uh, this is this is right when the teacup ride came out. So tensions were high. So I get in there first day. Boss says to me, he goes, what do you got? I say, how about umpteenth? He, he does a spit take. <laughs> he spits onto his laptop and he starts calling for security. I said, no, sir, I'm serious. I'm serious, that's a great word to use to embarrass yourself in a fight. Uh, you do this for the umpteenth time. He goes, seriously, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need you to get out of here. I just got vertigo when you said that word. If that, it's not a word. And then I say, hey, uh, you guys, you guys ever try Fireball? I said, what's that? I go, it's a cinnamon whiskey that makes you sick. Uh, next thing you know, I start passing around. And the day rolls around, everyone's out of their minds on the ball. Merriam-Webster comes to collect the day's work. Okay, give me the give me the twenty. What do you got? What twenty words have you done? Ever, no, we we haven't done shit. We just bet on the ball. My boss, cross-eyed, hands him this. He goes, <laughs> I'm teeth. Next day, Merriam-Webster herself calls the office. I guess she passed out when she saw the word. She said, whatever this. Lewis Carroll, Denver Jam Band shit is. I am not putting this in my shit. My boss is. Uh, my boss screams, "Where is? <laughs> where's the? Where's that guy with the pigtails? <laughs> Get him over here!" Uh, at the time, I was driving a golf cart, a 1959 Arnold Palmer, two-speed. You know, put it in reverse. Beep. <laughs> I pull out. I'm cocky. I got the whole back seat full of Fireball. And I'm wearing a bikini bottoms and a cummerbund. <sighs> so I walk into the office looking like an extraordinary chicken. I'm puffed up. My boss says, you, my office. I walk in. He says, how much do I have to pay you to never set foot here again? Miriam doesn't want you within 100 feet of the word factory. I said, look, buddy, I don't need much. All I need is enough to finish the craft that I'm working on. So I can get out of here if you know what I'm talking about. I'm heading north. You know, are you talking about going into space? I say, look, I'm not going to be explicit about it. I got 10K and I uh, got a little, I bought myself a pool house in Palm Springs. And ever since then, I've been a dancer on the corner of Judy Garland Boulevard and Bob Fosse's Bald Head Circle. Where are my hamburger buns? Alexa, play Dave Matthews Band. <laughs>